Hey everybody, welcome to casterscorner.com. I'm your host Cleo here for another toy of the day. And I know we're getting this one just under the wire, but I had to go pick pick up toys. Because um, I was running out and people texted me today they found stuff. Today's toy comes to us. Um, well, we'll get to that in a second. So, uh, sorry, just moving stuff around. It is late. I am very late on this. Um, you can go to casterscorner.com for a full gallery of this figure. You can follow us. We are at Casters Corner on all social media. We got to uh, reveal some new Star Wars toys today, so go check that out on our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, you can also check out the Cornercast podcast up on Apple Podcasts this week with our friend uh, Dan, who reviews. Uh, we were really excited about that, and we got more fun stuff coming up, so... Uh, make sure to check that out on Apple Podcasts and give it a subscribe. Um, and subscribe to this page somewhere down here. Um, so today's toy is the Maximal Rhinox from the Transformers Kingdom line. Um, he is missing from the box because he is indeed in my hands right here. Um, we got this review to do thanks to our new friend James. Thank you so much, James, for picking this up for us. We really appreciate you. Picking it up while we were at work, um, so that was really nice of you. And uh, they're hitting Targets and Walmarts right now, and uh, shipping with Cyclonus. So if you missed him the first time around, um, box art really captures the look of him. Honestly, I think the box art photo of him right here gives him a lot more depth um, to his character. Whereas the toy feels a little plainer. I wish they had added some of the touches um, and some of the sculpting work. Because you can see on his legs, it's all kind of wrinkled like a rhinoceros. Um, his legs at least don't weather that way. So I would say that's one criticism I have about it. Um, but he does transform in 35 steps, which has been kind of difficult. He's been a hard one to transform, I'll be honest with you. I've done it a few times and I always get tripped up with the legs. So we're actually going to go from robot to rhino because I might have an easier time. Um, I spent about six minutes in the last video. The first time I tried to record this, it took me about six minutes and I still couldn't get the legs without popping off all the joints. So I decided to start over. I, I will admit to that um, because it was just six minutes of me like this trying to get it to work. So I didn't think that was going to make a good video. Um, so 35 steps, as our friend at LittleBots says. Um, unfortunately, I don't have somebody that likes to hide off camera, transform for me. I know, I know, Little Geek Ninja and 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 Little Geek Zombie can transform their own transformers, um, but that guy who hides off screen, I'm gonna tell you, I don't know. I think he should uh, step up and actually do a review here or there. Um, so here he is, Rhinox. He is a big boy. He is a Voyager class, um, not a leader class, although the leader class is kind of hit around the same size lately. Um, he definitely has a really good head sculpt there. Looks pretty good. Got the rhino head on the back, the horns. Um, got his two weird chain slash circular guns, blasters there. Um, I, I think it really captures the look of Rhinox um, really well. I think the only criticism I have is I wanted some more weathering on him. He looks too clean. And I think that was my big criticism about the Skelegod figure. I think it just looked too clean. Um, but he does match pretty well with the other Maximals. Um, he is about the same size as the leader cl class Optimus. Um, if they're standing next to each other. So that's what I'm saying. Our current leader class is a little small compared to past leader classes. But I'm okay because I think the scale on all of these really match pretty well. Um, he's pretty well articulated. Moves around pretty well. So now here's the scary part. I have to try to transform this guy into a rhino in 35 steps without looking at these. Um, I did it the first time, actually. The only thing I couldn't get to work was, um, I'm gonna try to do as much of this on camera as I can. These slot into his abdomen area. <laughs> Some questionable jokes there on how they look and how they work. Um, so I will admit, I am not gonna try um, to uh, put them in, but they fit together like that. And then they're supposed to peg into his inner knees. 
um, to kind of hide them within the sculpt. So, uh, so the hands fold in, so you can pop, pop the hands open. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he was a tough one. I'll admit, he was. He's not as bad as Black Arachnia. So the hands pop open like that, and you rotate his fist in like that and it gives you a rhino leg do the same thing on the other side straighten it out black arachne i still have not transformed i've watched videos on it i still can't do it she's probably the only transformer i have not been able to transform or feel like once i get her into spider i'm not getting it out um so uh i decided to just just i'm just gonna leave it alone just she looks good in bot form um so the rhino head comes up over uh the top there the two shoulders kind of fold in backwards so you bring the arms out front like that and these you gotta lift up the head first um these fold in and those are pretty tight there into the shoulder joint there um thankfully all these joints really do snap off if you need them to and actually it's easier to transform him to continue the transformation like this now here's where it gets messy the legs are not the typical like open fold out it's a couple different maneuvers here so i'm going to try to do it the best i can without looking so you can kind of see how they fold rotate around I think that's where I got tripped up last time uh, his back legs are on the inside so you rotate those out and once you get those open it's a little bit of like transformer um, Jenga I guess of trying to figure out where all these pieces really oop, yeah, yeah, always pop that leg off there we go rotate the leg out um, and so now you got one that looks kind of like like this I know it looks like a mess like I don't know I really have no clue how these engineers figure out how all these parts come together like it's I don't I don't know how they do it it's so mind-boggling and confusing um i don't know how they design it to work that way um but they do and it works and it looks really cool once you can figure it out but it takes a little bit of time and here we go again with these legs there we go okay so got that side in and now sorry See, this is what happens with this one. He is not the easiest boy to transform here. I keep popping these joints off. This is not the best. So I used to watch, um, I used to watch Beast Wars in high school. It came out when I was in high school. And I was kind of, I keep popping that one joint. Um, so some of the joints are tight and some of the ones that connect here are really loose. So when you go to move them, they kind of just pop. Um, now I can't get it back into place. Uh, so I used to watch uh, Beast Wars growing up in high school and I would try to do my best to uh, make sure that I was I keep popping this one joint. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so I would uh, try to watch as much as I possibly could while I could get ready for school. And then there we go. And then that flips out there. And then this flips in here. Oh. Yeah, not pretty, not pretty at all. Um, so I would watch it, try to watch as much as I could. I'd have to pop the VHS tape 
into the VCR to record the last 10 minutes of the show so that I could watch it when I got home from school, um, which was always great. And then watching it transform into Beast Machines um, was another one that was kind of devastating to see Optimus Prime's, you know, right hand here in Rhinox, like his, his lieutenant here, um, go bad and work for Megatron was just, it was devastating. Like it really was when that reveal came out that, uh, I can't wait to see DJ try to do this. This is why he edits, I'm sure. Um, so that is probably the best I'm going to get him, to be honest with you. And it's not bad. Um, the back piece has to fold in a little bit better. Um, but you can, oh, there we go. Okay. So there he is, all folded out. As a rhino, his jaw is articulated. He looks good. Next to Prime. Um, so there he is. I mean, oh, these beasts are killing me. Like, what was that? Four minutes of me struggling to, to transform him and not even that well to, to boot. And I'm still trying to get the pieces to line up. Um, it's a good figure. I just clearly can't do it. Um, I, I mean, I mean it, it's it's trying to get those pieces that kind of slide in and slot in right that, that really just struggle. And I'm rushing and it's late and I don't do any editing. So I guess you get what you get and you don't get upset. Um, but you got to see scale. You got to see what he should look like as a rhino, um, which is pretty good. I think it's, look, it's not the best. I did not do the best job here. I will admit that, but... There we go. Um, so thank you guys for struggling through that with me. I will have a full gallery of this guy up on the website shortly, or by the time you see this, it'll be up there. Um, tomorrow, well, he's not, I don't think he's in the room. Uh, we got Galvatron too, so we're gonna take a look at Galvatron. I'm gonna try to put this guy back together um, to take pictures as a rhino and uh, yeah, so follow us. We are at Casters Corner on all social media. You can check out the Cornercast podcast up on Apple Podcasts this week with our friend uh, Dan Who Reviews, uh, which is, oh, okay. Well, that makes it a little bit better. I forgot to fold in the chest, too. Um, so that makes the arms, oh, that works so much better. Okay, I clearly did not read the instructions here. Um, so with Dan who it's up on Apple podcast, it's a subscribe button and hit the subscribe button down below. If you like to see me struggle with these toys and try to put things together that I clearly am losing my touch for, cause I can usually do these without looking at instructions. And I, and I'll admit I did all this without looking at instructions. So I think I got pretty good, not the best, but pretty good. Um, thank you guys for watching and, uh, hit the subscribe button. The more of you that subscribe, the more cool things we get to do. And then we get to share them with you and, and, and grow this community. And, and really it's been the best part of this journey. So thank you guys for watching me struggle through trying to transform Rhinox. Hopefully the pictures will look better than me trying to transform him into said Rhino. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow for an all new toy of the day. It's either going to be John Wick or Galvatron. We'll see how much I struggle with Galvatron. Thanks for watching, guys. The toy of the day here on castorscorner.com.